Mmm. Strawberries. They're sweet, juicy, and the first to disappear from a fruit salad. But soon, strawberries could be disappearing from the fields too, because farm pests are becoming a major problem. Hey everybody, Sophia here. Strawberries are already hard to grow because tons of pests like to munch on them. For obvious reasons. So growers came up with a highly effective system for warding off insects, mites, nematodes, fungi, and diseases. But getting rid of all of these pests requires soil fumigants. What are soil fumigants? Well, they're similar to what fumigators use when they go to houses, put up big tents, spray the whole place, and say, Vaminos pests. Farmers spray fumigants on soil beds, and the fumigant gases move through the soil, eliminating pests before the crops are even planted. By far the most popular fumigant is methyl bromide. This so-called surefire pesticide was introduced in the US in 1961 and revolutionized the strawberry industry. So what's wrong with methyl bromide? Well, it's harmful to human health if you come in direct contact with it, but growers take safety measures. The real problem is that methyl bromide can break down and release elemental bromine, which destroys the ozone. In 1990, the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer, remember that? mandated farmers phase out methyl bromide by 2005. Ten years after the deadline, strawberry farms are still using it. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has granted American strawberry growers exemptions after farmers argued there were just no better alternatives. But the EPA says all exceptions will end after 2016. Growers have tried a lot of alternatives, but these have all been nixed or heavily restricted. The soil fumigant 1,3-dichloropropene is a known carcinogen. Chloropicrin has dangerous respiratory health effects, and methyl iodide can alter DNA and taint groundwater. So now what? Industry could take a page from organic strawberry growers who are enhancing soil without fumigants by using cover crops and steaming out vermin. Scientists are also looking into the genetics of 1,600 unique varieties of strawberries for clues on how to breed fruit that will be resistant to soil-borne diseases and pests. This will all take time, though, and people like their strawberries. So hop to it, scientists. Without good pest control, we won't have abundant strawberry fields forever. To learn more about the strawberries plight, check out the original article by Melody Baumgartner. Also check out our videos on insect chemistry and why we get itchy. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and hoard your strawberries.